Greetings to the global community of the Kringel Society. It's a pleasure once again to be here, your humble servant, Pastor Isaac Mbego Nelson. I prefer to be called TVC Pastor on the YouTube or Facebook. And when you go there, you search for TBC Pastor, you see me life in Cali. And as we have determined and have taken it upon ourselves, not to cease, not to keep quiet until we see the deliverance and salvation of our great community. This is a heavenly calling. And I say, unless you are called, you become frustrated and a little bit stranded when you undertake this wonderful mission. But the few that are called know the direction that we are going and they are willing to go with us. Today, we are here to draw your attention to a wonderful reason why we need to pray. You know, we are all expecting the community to enter into its liquidity. And as we always say, God, through the Abbey, has given us a wonderful formula of which we can all lie on or use to wrestle and take back the stolen power powers that was given to us, that was for us naturally, where it has been stolen and have been kept by the minority in the world, the minority, the few people in the world, have kept riches to themselves and have left the world in an artificial scarcity. And until humanity realizes what rightfully belongs to you and rises up to battle, you will always remain poor and asleep. And we, the Tibetans or the Kringle Society, have come to realize that we are going through a scarcity, artificial scarcity that wasn't actually or actualized by our God. And therefore, we have taken upon ourselves to pray. And now today, our topic is why they need to pray. We need to pray and ask God to push us into liquidity. That is our topic. Oh Lord, push TBC into liquidity. Brethren, there is a wonderful phenomenon that we all have to agree. The fact is that though we live in the world, but it belongs to God, and he has power to do whatever he wished to do. Remember, now we are talking about billionaires and millionaires in the world. The admin is creating a million billionaires and a billion, one billion millionaires in this universe. It doesn't take a day for humanity or a man to be a billionaire. It takes a lot of effort, tenacity, and battle. And as we say, the little battle that you need to fight at the moment is the mental battle. You need to fight your mind. You need to fight stagnation in order to have your breakthrough. And as we say, it takes God just a day to push us into liquidity. Yes, because our Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, as we read the chapter of 8, Deuteronomy chapter 8, from the verse of 9, you know, uh, from the verse of 17 and 18, Deuteronomy chapter 8, the verse of 17 and 18. Yes, Israel was entering the promised land, and the Lord was reminding them that as you go to the promised land, I am going to bless you, and you are going to be extremely rich. But you don't have to attribute such riches to yourself. And I read, Then you shall say in your heart, By my power and my might of my hand have gained me this wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. I take it again. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. And he, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. And the striking verse is that it is the Lord that gives power to make wealth. If the Lord does not build the house, the labor in vain who builds it. If the Lord does not give us power and push this community into liquidity, our effort alone cannot build such a wonderful community. We need God to be the foundation of the community. If this community was founded by an occult, there wouldn't be the need for prayer. 
because they would have manipulated and maneuvered to cause it to happen from the occultic realms. But because this community is instituted and the vision was implemented and is carried by a godly man, we need to pray for divinity to reach humanity. And that is why we have to depend on God that gives power to become wealth, give power to make riches, that Lord of riches, push us into liquidity. That is our prayer today. The God of wealth, give us power to become rich. You know, you are talking about you becoming a billionaire when TVC reaches its liquidity or enters its economic phase. And if God does not give you power, it is totally impossible for us to use our strategies and schemes to lead us into liquidity in which humanity, the masses in the world are going to be billionaires. Manipulation and technology alone cannot do this. And that is why after cryptocurrencies are not functioning because there is no spiritual force back in it. Go to the coin market and search for the number of cryptos that are on the market that have been implemented and have failed. There are so many hundreds of coins that have failed. They had a very good plan, marketing plan. They had a very good ICU. They had a very good strategy to relieve humanity from stagnation and struggling. But they failed. Why? Because they didn't have enough spiritual backing. So as we are all pushing hard with our money, pushing hard through day in and day out publicity, as we are pushing hard with recruitment, as we are signing in people in and out, we need the grace of God to help us to break through and to overcome every spirit of stagnation. And that is what you and I need to do. And remember this wonderful statement in the book of Exodus chapter 19, the verse of 5. The Lord told Israel, Moses to tell the children of Israel, that if you will obey my voice and hearken to my ways, then I, the Lord, will make you a great treasure above all people who dwell on this earth. I'll make you a great treasure above all humanity on this earth. Why? Because the earth is mine. All the earth belongs to me, God. So God was telling Israel he's going to make them the greatest treasure, rich and precious in the kingdom of priesthood. Why? Because the earth belongs to him. God can decide to make you rich overnight. He can decide to let you be poor for the rest of your life. And if the Lord says, I have lifted my scepter upon this community, go into liquidity. No spirit, no force can stop us. No amount of effort or of the elite can keep us stagnant. Don't forget, it is the will of God that you break through. Why? Because in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, the verse of 9, the Bible says, And you know the grace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, but for your sake he became poor, that you may be rich. You know the love and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he, Jesus, was rich, but for your sake he became poor, that through his poverty you may attain perpetual riches. And that is the will of God, that you prosper in all things, in your wealth, in your health, even as your soul prospered. And Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter 4, the verse 19, that the Lord shall supply all my needs according to his riches, which are in glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, if he decides to lift you up, no spirit can bring you down. If he decides to push you forward, no spirit can stop us. No amount of frustration will stop this community. And that is why I want us to support this agenda and build the foundation of the community with prayer, support it with spiritual background. So at the end of the day, the forces will rise indeed, as we know that very soon the community is going to encounter a very serious media battle, battle of the media. The elite are going to rise, and they are going to condemn and tag this community as calm. And as they, as they target as calm, you know, if we pray enough, no amount of effort can relegate or stop us, can, can, can will retire us from progressing. And that is why we all need to depend based on this prayer bulletin. And as we say today, our prayer bulletin is that 
oh God, push us into liquidity. And as you base on these verses to pray, Deuteronomy chapter 8, the verse of 17, it is the Lord that gives us ability to become rich. As you depend on that to pray and say, oh God, according to Exodus 19, the verse of 5, you say you are going to make us a kingdom of priests, a special treasure above all people who live on this earth because the earth belongs to you. As you pray all this prayer and remind God and ask him for his favor, his favor will fall upon us. His blessing will come upon this community and we shall excel. And no amount of frustration will keep us back. We will move forward. 30 minutes, don't forget, every day. And today, I am indulging you and entreating you to give God your 30 minutes of prayer. And as you pray into that, you are going to have your breakthrough. Remember, we have invested a lot of effort in areas that never benefit us. We have invested a lot of prayer in areas that left us nothing. We've invested a lot of money in areas that ended up as zero. And we are investing effort in your wallet. The quantum of kringles and coins you have in your wallet, you are praying to God that, Father, let these things that I see every day turn into liquid, turn into money. And as you pray, God will listen to your prayer. And he will answer you because you have a good heart. Just as the admin has a good heart, you also have a good heart for humanity. And I believe you've already scheduled good and beautiful things that you will do with your money if TBC reaches its economy face. And that is why God has heard your call, your, your, your cry, day in and day out. And he wants to help you to break through. He wants to help and convert those cringles that you see into money. And that's why we need to pray and ask for God's favor because there is nothing that we can do in the blind side of God on this universe. When you do anything at his blind side, it will never succeed. And that's why we are building this community on the foundation of prayer. And this is a wake up call to the few minority that are out there and share the same vision with me that we need to pray into this vision. God bless you as you keep doing your personal best in, in, in day in and day out recruiting people and signing people and training people. God bless you for that wonderful job. It's a work of humanity and the generation to come will bless you for doing that and for introducing them into this community. And the world will, will, will consider you as a hero. You will never die as a failure. You will never leave this world poor. You will die rich just as Jesus came to save humanity from our poverty. God bless you and may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen.